But let's now take a look at what's going on, there you are, in Italy, where the new Prime Minister will be presenting his austerity programme to the Senate later today, ahead of a confidence vote. On Wednesday, Mario Monti unveiled a cabinet of technocrats, including academics, and the boss of Entesta Bank, a team he is hoping will reassure investors, and of course the voters in Italy, that he can get uh, it Italian debt under control. Well, let's now go live to Rome to speak to Professor John Weiss, who's joining us via Skype. He's from the European School of Economics. Uh, John, talk us through what's actually happening then today, because of course it does sound very reminiscent, doesn't it, of the last week or so, where we have austerity measures being discussed and a vote of confidence. Yes, yeah, that's true. Uh, there has been a heavy discussion after last week. Uh, this week we, did, uh, we spent some time uh, actually the, the government spent some time trying to get uh, Mr. Monti re-elected and a whole uh, series of uh, uh, meetings with uh, members of the various parties and members of different interest groups. Uh, so the week has gone by basically doing some kind of uh, formal meetings and ritualistic meetings, which is kind of hard for the markets to understand. Uh, and, uh, but uh, these will, meetings will continue. Today should be short sworn in. Uh, and getting a confidence vote on one of the chambers uh, next uh, would be the other one. Uh, so I think that uh, I understand the markets are kind of impatient right now. They cannot wait to see measures being taken. Uh, unfortunately, yes, unfortunately, so politics is one of the Let's talk about those measures. Sorry to interrupt you because time's getting the better of us. But when it comes to the austerity measures, some of the biggies, i.e. sorting out bureaucracy, liberalization of industry like utilities and things like that, they're not going to be in these measures, are they? There's the concern about when you'll tackle the real issues that are the hot potatoes. Yes, I understand. There's a big concern, and everybody in Italy is concerned about that. Um, the measures, uh, I've been talking to some politicians, and uh, they tell me that uh, they like uh, Monty, I like what Monty is, uh, the way he's approaching things. Uh, but uh, the question is, is he going to go to the, the chambers and discuss the issues that uh, the measures that need to be taken, or is he going to go and take a fast approach and through decrees uh, institute some of the changes that need to be made? It seems that the, the uh, politicians seem to uh, think that this is going to be the second thing that he's going to do, especially right. because it's going to be a way to calm down the market. Yes. Okay, John, thanks for joining us live from Rome. John Wise there from the European School of economics. I'm sure Mario Monti is looking forward to rolling up his sleeves. Time's moving on, isn't it?